Hey friends, welcome to day 11 of Quarantunes. Um, before we get to the good stuff, I just wanted to address something that happened last night. Uh, after I posted yesterday's video, I was feeling really good about it. And then I got this anonymous message. And so we're going to talk about that. Um, I went back and forth about responding to it or not, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't really rude. It was just kind of a just so you know kind of thing. But I mean, okay, I'm going to respond to it here instead. So Anon, if you're watching, this is what I have to say to you. So I get it, you know, I get it. I, um... This fucking thing sucks. As we all know, this fucking thing sucks. And I'm gonna really try to keep this brief, but we'll see what happens. This situation is bullshit. It sucks for everyone. Nobody wants to be inside. Nobody wants to be losing out on money. Nobody wants to do this and that, blah, blah, blah. Nobody wants to get sick and die, you know? So I get the need to be out and make money. I get that. Obviously, we live in a society where we need money to pay bills and rent and buy food and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, certainly that sucks now that we don't have all those options in front of us. But I certainly am not one to agree with going out and protesting about it. Now, obviously, Anon, you and your family situation is different and you feel like you need to do that and I say more power to you, okay? There's nothing I can do to stop you. You're gonna do what you're gonna do and hopefully you stay safe. I mean that and I mean that. I don't want you to get sick. I hopefully you and your mother and you know whoever else you're protesting with stay safe. Um, but I don't agree with you at all, clearly, since we've had a, uh, since we're, there's been something between us here, I don't agree with that decision. I think that it's reckless because you talk about choices, right? You talk about we have, you know, it should be our choice. But the problem is your choice doesn't just affect you. It affects literally every single person around you. And then it affects everyone around them and so on and so on and so on. It keeps fucking ballooning here. So you go out and maybe you are sick. We don't know. You could be carrying it and you just give it to this person. They give it to this person. Blah, 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 blah. And it fucking sucks. So no, I don't agree with going out and protesting for the right to go to back to work and do stuff when all it's just going to do is make everyone more sick. I mean, we are not past this thing. I don't care what the model, what some models are saying wherever you live, that thinks, oh, it's on a downhill slide. We open this shit back up, there goes another spike. And we'll see it in about two weeks. But that's not any of my concern for you. You have to do what you have to do for you and your family. So, you know, more power to you. Go out and protest if you want. There's literally nothing I can say to stop you. There's nothing you can say to change my mind, because I don't agree, clearly. But I don't, I, I'm interested that you think that uh, I'm not conservative at all just because I don't want people to go outside, just because I don't want people to get sick, because I don't want people to die? I mean, okay, because I said fuck Trump, because I meant that, I meant that every single word of that. That doesn't make me not a conservative though. I mean, I don't know why that, you could be conservative and not like Trump. You could be conservative and not want people to die. All you really need is some fucking common human decency, really. Because we're all in this together. And if people keep going out and being reckless, then we're all going to die together. And I get it, you know. I get it. You need. Unfortunately, we live in a society. We need money to survive. But you can only start over. You lose your money. You lose your job, your house, whatever, when all this is done, you can start over. But if you get sick, if you die, there's no coming back from that. So, I mean, that's where I'm coming from here. What's the point of all of it if I'm going to get sick and die? 
So my heart goes out to you and your family and um, hopefully you live in one of those states where they're lifting restrictions for your sake. You know, hopefully you're living in one of those where they're lifting restrictions and you can go and your mother can go back to work and start making money that you need. And uh, I pray to God that you stay safe. I really do. I don't wish you ill. I don't wish you anything like that. I want you to stay safe. So please stay healthy, stay safe, make smart choices. Okay, please, please. Um, that's all I ask, really. I don't care if you want to do that. It's your business. That's not my business. And I'm not really sure why you wanted me to know, because I'm not going to stop saying what I'm going to say. I mean, if you don't want to listen to it, you can unfollow me. You can block me. You can just not watch. You know, you say you loved, loved past tense, my stories and my songs. Well, I mean, they're still going to be here. So something happens. You can come back. I will welcome you with open arms. Okay, Anon? Uh, no hard feelings here. But one thing I will absolutely not apologize for is saying fuck Trump and anyone who stands with him. Because that motherfucker is a goddamn incompetent human piece of garbage that just happens to be in the White House trying to rule this country. And it's like, no. So... I will not apologize for that. I refuse to apologize for that. The guy is literally just like the worst. So, sorry, not sorry. I made it political. I don't mean to be political. I don't want to be political. But I feel like we just kind of live in that world now where you don't really have a choice but to be informed and be in the know because shit's happening, right? Who knows what's going to happen? <sighs> the times, they are changing as Bob Dylan said, and that is, coincidentally, our song for the day. So, that's right, I chose this on purpose for this. Now, this is actually a request song from my good friend, uh, at Kitten1618X, Melissa. This is a Melissa request, um, but I felt it was a great idea to do this song today because of the slight backlash I got from my politics, I guess. So we're gonna do that today. Sorry for the uh, little ramble earlier. I mean, I'm not really, but you know, whatever. But anyway, um, God, guys, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you right now. I fucking love Bob Dylan. He is my God. Okay, I, the man can do no wrong in my books. I will listen to anything. Early Dylan, late Dylan, Christian Dylan, Mad Dylan, Sad Dylan, Old Man Dylan. I don't care. I will listen to any Dylan. He is amazing. The greatest lyricist of all time. Can you, there's no one else that even comes close. He has thrown away songs that are better than entire artist catalogs. Their entire catalog. The man is genius. And goddamn, is he just the best. Now, this song in particular, The Times They Are Changing, um, it's not one of my favorite Dylan songs. I mean, it's funny. It's certainly one of his best songs of all time in the grand scheme of things, but it's definitely, like, probably not even in my top 10, top 20 Dylan songs. Like, that's how amazing his catalog is, right? His discography if you will. And this one is just kind of says everything we need to hear right now, right? Because this shit is crazy and the times are changing. And funny thing, before we get to it, um, I saw, if you want to know the absolute worst concert I ever went to was Bob Dylan, funnily enough. It was the worst concert I've ever been to. And I've been to, I don't know, quite a few, upwards of 20 or more in my life. Hands down, worst concert I've ever been to. And I don't even know what was going on there. Like, the acoustics or the sound mix must have just been just god awful because it was like loud and you couldn't tell what was happening. It was just a jumble of shit. 
pouring through the the speakers and there's crazy like drunk person running around in there by all means it should have been a great time but i mean that was just garbage and i've not seen him since and hell this was probably like 11 years ago now and it was just fucking terrible but my man bob bobby d robert zimmerman he's killing the game i love the man and here we go let's just give this a shot right i've actually not ever really played this before i practiced this once um but it's just you know it's not a whole lot i'm not gonna do a dylan impression i might do a little bit of a dylan impression but probably try to do it straight here so drink up your official sponsor of quarantine's water and uh let's do this thing all right Dylan, times they are changing. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Sorry shit got political, I guess. Bummer. I'll try to keep it, uh, you know, not so much in the future. Because this is more about having fun. And I don't really want to be that guy. But if I have to be, I have to be. So, tomorrow, Sunday. Have a great weekend. Happy Saturday. Keep it chill. Keep it rocking. Stay safe, stay healthy, wear a mask, you go outside, drink your water, don't drink bleach. Um, fuck Trump, as always, am I right, guys? Um, stay gold, keep the fire, and I'll see you tomorrow with a fun one, I think. Uh, yeah. So, 
Till then.